Hello, I'm Mark Bodie, and this is my studio, and welcome. Come on in. I've got a lot of artifacts from my past, from my father was Vaughn Bodie. Him and I only got to spend 12 years together, but it's been a lifetime of, of keeping him alive and his characters. And, uh, and so there's a lot of artifacts around this, this small studio where you, know, you can kind of get some history. <laughs> call him the saint of comics or graffiti art but um, he's very religious but he collected all the different religions together and made his own this is um, the lizard of oz this was the last piece my dad did before he died um, it was uh, july of 1975 he was at the New York City Comic Book Convention, and um, some friends of his, uh, Dan O'Neill and the Air Pirates, were getting sued by Disney for doing X-rated Disney uh, comics. You know, Mickey and Minnie doing things that we never dreamt of them doing. It was a great comic, but it. Uh, Disney decided to use them as an example and decided to uh, sue the shit out of them and for millions of dollars. And underground comic artists didn't make any kind of money. You know, I mean, they make a few, few hundred here or there, for, you know, maybe a few thousand here or there. But there was no big money in it. And uh, but Disney wanted to make, make a show out of it. And so. Um, the last convention my father was at, my father decided that he would help benefit the Air Pirates Fund. And uh, so he did, he auctioned himself off with a big piece of blank paper to the highest bidder and it went up to $750, which was a considerable sum back then. It was probably like a few thousand dollars for, for a blank sheet of paper. So. Uh, um, the the person who bid the highest was a Wizard of Oz fan and he said could you do the Lizard of Oz Vaughn and my father said hey that's a great idea so that's how the piece came about and I watched him do the whole thing he did it he stayed up uh, that night in the uh, artist alley and, and did the whole thing start to finish and uh, Two weeks later, he was gone, um, and uh, I, I continued it uh, about 20 years later, 20-something years later, but uh, it was something that had to be finished, but uh, still a gorgeous piece in the last thing he did.